Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me today as we take a first look at the Bison Overland flatbed aluminum pop-up truck campers. These things have a lot of unique features at a very good price point, so I'm excited to give you guys the first look into them before the first ones are even done. So, let's dive on in, you. Alright guys, so I came across these campers on Instagram and as I was chatting with Drew, we decided to do a little video collaboration. So Drew was kind enough to send me uh, some GoPro footage of him walking through these campers and just kind of highlighting some of the uh, different aspects about them, what makes them unique, uh, touching on the price point, and uh, just giving you guys that first look. So. Without further ado, I'll let Drew do the chatting, and uh, you can take it from here, bud. Hey, Phil. How's it going? Thanks for having us. Um, so my name's Drew with Bison Overland Campers, and uh, I'm going to give you a little walk around and give some explanation of what we're building and why we're building it. This is our first build. Uh, it's basically a prototype. Uh, we're building it. We're getting all the dimension and everything off so we can get a, a CAD drawing, and everything will be... Uh, laser cut out so assembly and everything just everything fits perfect from here on out I've, I've had some four-wheel campers and and a bunch of different campers in the past and uh, there's a hole in the market for the flatbeds and a shell shell option there's there's I looked around I would have loved to have had a four-wheel camper uh, flatbed shell uh, one reason is is the cost um, one is something under 20,000 for a flatbed model and um, so we started uh, thinking about it and, and figured out we could we'd build our own. But we're using better material and better products in our build. For example, the, the frame is all, the frame's comparable. It's all, um, it's about 80% one by two, uh, 50, 52 aluminum, eighth inch wall. And there's some one by one mixed in there as well for the overall framing. Our skin is 50, 52 aluminum. 16th inch uh, I think works out to 0 0.0625 so it's it's about double uh, the thickness of, of say the, the comparable four-wheel camper the eighth inch thick two inch angle that acts as uh, um, armor for on the trails so we did the 45 degree angles on the front again that just gives strength where these brakes are in that gives a lot of strength there a baseball bat would not dent that there um, so this area here is very strong and can take some big branches and everything and deflect off the camper and it's not going to leave a big old dent or crease in it as a previous four-wheel camper owner their skins either if it's the the form siding or the new smooth siding they they dent very easily um, I had just a small branch rub across the front edge of of the body and it put a, a crease in it that could not come out. So we wanted to beef it up and it, it really doesn't add that much more weight. On the cab over section, we went to eighth inch skin. And again, that was for branches and everything. Um, so it, it would be a lot stronger. For pricing, our shell model is starting out at 18,000. Um, that's, that's basically a camper you're ready to camp in. It's just not built, it, built out on the inside. Um, <clears throat> you can use it and then you can build it out. You can build it out then use it. You can do whatever you want uh, We got a little more progress on the outside. Uh, I've got this Fiamma awning mounted up. I'm a big fan of this style awning I've had the 270s before um, But they just take a lot of work to, to set up and put back up and I love this style You just crank it out set it up if it's not windy. You don't even have to put the poles down. We did make the switch uh, to the turnoverland cargo doors um, that's a new new thing we've got. So uh, we we're working on having having an angled door that we we're gonna build, but we love the turn overland products. So we've got two there for our cargo areas, uh, and then also there are windows. So we're getting really close here. Uh, we've got the interior walls going in. That I'm excited about. So I wanted to show you what we're doing on the interior. So we went with this nice industrial rubber flooring. I love the color, kind of a gray blue, so it's gonna hold up real well. Um, we wrapped it along the back wall. 
because uh, if, if the dinette area is there, your feet, kids' feet could potentially kind of kick up against it. So that's going to save it. So what we did was we were looking at wrapping all the walls in this material. And um, I'll show you here kind of a little closer look of, of what this material looks like. So it's almost like a, like a tweed type material. So it's, it's a very heavy duty. It's actually used for commercial as well, used for a lot of benches, um, a lot of stuff that sees a lot of public use. Um, so it's, it's very strong. And the great thing about it is patches can stick to it, any sort of Velcro. So you've got some, some storage bags. I imagine having a bunch of stuff mounted across this wall and that you just rip off and take out. There will be a, a, uh, a build out right here in the middle, but this whole area will be open so you could put all of your, your bags, your storage and stuff there. Um, and then of course for this one, we'll have all our kitchen cabinet and stuff there. So you won't see as much of this, um, but very excited about it. It matches all of our, our turn stuff real well. Uh, we've got this just kind of roughly mounted in here. It's on the top track. It's not fastened down here, but you got your screen that can open up and then pop your window open so you can get it full all the way open. Put your screen down if you want at night. Pull the blackout panel. You can put it all the way up or you can have the screen to get a little airflow or you can just close it all the way off. So again, another great feature on the turn. And of course, we've got the same one for the big one and matching. So the walls originally, and, and this will be an option of ours, this is a UV coated birch ply, uh, this cord in the middle. Um, so it's got that real good natural wood look. It matches everything real nice. Um, we'll also have like a gloss white wall finish, but I wanted for our show camper here, I wanted to go in this, this nice uh, fabric. We've, we've got a new uh, uh, custom build coming up that we're going to be starting here very soon. So uh, you can follow along on our Instagram and everything, Bison Overland, and uh, be following the progress of this. But we're coming together. Uh, that's all of our pre-wiring. We've got some 12 volt here. We've got 12 volt up on the roof and a 12 volt spot here. And then the lights pre-wired, solar be pre-wired. Uh, we've still got to finish up the, the bed space up there. So that is our interior. So another feature we wanted to incorporate on these campers was plenty of exterior storage and we wanted to make it uh, where it's accessible from the inside and outside. Because uh, with the campers I've had, you get tired of climbing in and out, in and out. It's time to cook. You got to get stuff from inside, bring it outside, then you got to put it back in. So I want to have the option to get to almost everything you need from, from the outside if it happens to be something you need while you're stuck inside when it's rain or something, you'll be able to access it from the inside. We'll have a handle here, it folds down. We've got a matching one on the other side and then I'll show you a, another door we've got on the other side over here. We've got the mirror image door that'll be going over here and we've added another door right here. Um, this space here, if you have uh, all the cabinetry built out, this is a great utility space because you can get back in the cabinetry, you can put your uh, water system here, you can put your battery system here. You're in a, you're in a storm and your, your lights go out uh, you need to check your batteries. You don't have to come outside, open this door. You can get to it from inside. Or if you're needing some of your, uh, your camp equipment inside, back here, you can open up a hatch and get to it right there. And so to wrap up, let's talk about the, uh, the pop-up feature of the camper. So the uh, material of the canvas is going to be vinyl coated polyester, uh, 18 ounce. It's basically the same material you'll see on, on almost all of the nicer uh, pop-up truck campers. Uh, it's, it's that kind of glossy uh, um, vinyl look to it that's real strong. Uh, we're gonna have two windows on each side and um, uh, we're gonna have about six foot six, six foot seven clearance on the inside when you're standing. So there's gonna be plenty of room. One thing we're doing a little different is the roof is gonna be composite. It's gonna be aluminum skin, closed cell foam, and aluminum skin and aluminum frame. That's gonna give a little bit more strength of holding it together. Um, so you've got a little more uh, sturdy platform on the roof to haul, uh, put Yakima tracks, stuff like that. We've designed our own lift panels. We're, we're not a fan of the, the long uh, panels that have the, the, the long piano hinges to them as well. 
So we've designed uh, all aluminum that is going to be stronger. Um, so as I mentioned, we are uh, we're wrapping our first one up. Stay tuned on you can check our Instagram or our website. Um, I'm sure Phil can like put on the screen or put after somewhere. I don't know. He's he's the master at that. So uh, Phil, if if you don't mind uh, sharing that, and um, so you can contact us again through the Instagram or the website if you're interested. They start at 18. Uh, they max out about 35,000 fully loaded with solar everything. Uh, but we're, we're trying to keep the price at, at every comparable option about 10,000 less. And keep in mind that our uh, material and uh, build quality and products we're using is a couple steps up above in quality. So you're getting a cheaper and much better quality. Um, so. I want to thank you guys for checking it out and uh, Phil thank you for sharing our campers and supporting we appreciate it I am down to mob well thank you guys so much for watching this video it's really fun to use the platform to show you guys new stuff comment below and let us know what you think of the campers I'm sure Drew would be stoked to hear any feedback you may have hit the like if you did enjoy the video and if you want to support the channel uh, check out my patreon I'll put that link below. So, we know that Drew is down to mob. Really, the only question left, are you down to mob? <laughs>